Welcome to Samstar Games, the place to find new strategy games, and today we're going to play a war game. It's called Query Battles 4, Cordal Canal, and this is a game focused on air to naval combat. We're going to be playing in the midway scenario, June 3rd to 6th, 1942, a decisive battle. The Japanese will attempt to invade midway where the US will ambush them. What is very interesting is that each scenario has a set of options that you can pick. We're going to go with Saratoga. U.S. carrier Saratoga arrives in time from San Diego to take part in the battle at full strength. U.S.S. York run carrier complements remain limited. And we're going to be playing as the U.S.A. A decisive battle, the Japanese will attempt to invade Midway. Japanese tax force starts very far from Midway. It is advised to launch air search missions and to leap forward by several hours. Midway does not repair over time. The Japanese command clearly underestimates the scariest threat in this battle and will be less efficient in searching for them. Ambush the Japanese fleet and sink as many carriers as we, you can and we have three days for it. So, here you can see our map and we can, at the moment there's like fog of war so we can only see our stuff. And the fog of war, the way it's visualized is that there is no actual fog of war. Instead, you just don't see the enemy units are invisible until you search for them. Here we've got Midway, Japanese objective. This is what they want to get to. Then down here, we've got Task Force 11. And then up here, we've got Task Force 17, 16.1 and 16.2. At the moment, they're all set on autopilot to go to midway but i'm actually going to change the autopilot a little bit and just tell them to kind of move around midway so this is what i'm saying about you can also control them automatically if you'd like and every turn actually every time they can move you can tell them to move it's not necessarily every turn because turn here is essentially 20 minutes and they can't always move after the 20 minutes they're a bit slow and sometimes they're like rain and sometimes there's just like some random events i think so just they can always move every turn so the game told us to do search. So what we're going to do is we're going to send our planes to search for enemies. So down here, you can see from where we can sort of send our plane. So we've got Midway and we've got our four uh, task forces, our four carriers on which we've got the planes. So what we're going to start off is we're going to send on each of these cars, we're going to send some planes. So first thing I'm going to do is actually I'm going to pick some of my, actually we don't need to do it first. So first thing we're going to, we're going to send uh, people to search. So we're going to grab, we can either grab the whole stack or we can pick how many things you want to send. So we're going to send, let's say five of these um, dive bombers to go search. We're going to tell them to search in the 122 degrees in the west. And we're going to search for, let's say 20 hexes in that direction we're gonna do a fast search so we want them to move a little bit faster and just kind of search through and we're gonna do a very similar thing with most of these now because these uh 16.12 2 and 17 they're all near each other it would be more beneficial we don't need them all to search the same direction so what we're gonna do is gonna tell 16 point want to search to the west and and these two are going to search in the downwards direction a little bit okay so 16.2 you go search to the west do another southwest 122 degrees um let's go 27 and fast search go and these two are going to search kind of like downward on like 60 degrees yeah downwards like that Maybe 32 hexes go and 17 is going to do something very similar. Oh, I didn't, I didn't send our people there. Okay. Uh, five of those. Sure. Now down here, you can see whether uh, there is like a traffic jam, because sometimes if you send too many planes, there will be like a traffic jam. So this is what we did. We sent out people to search. What are other things we could do? We could set out strikes. We could also put uh, planes on, a, on our sort of patrol which essentially will allow them to protect the carriers but also they can go on search if the ai chooses to do so so what we're gonna do now is gonna wait about three hours so we're gonna kind of fast forward and uh, our planes are going to start moving now as you can see over here which i can click on it now yeah let me let me click okay I can't click on it now, so we're going to have to wait three hours. I shouldn't have done that already, but, but I'll show it to you with other things. Essentially, when you send out your planes, they first need some time before they can start the mission. Okay, now, now it's done. 
So you can see these colored hexes here. The light uh, colored hexes, light blue are surface radars and the dark blue are air search. So you, you can see we're kind of searching through these hexes and if we see an enemy, we're going to get noticed. At the moment, we didn't find any enemies just yet. Now here you can see that our planes are searching. What I'm going to do now is going to send some of my fighters to go into this um, patrol so that we can protect our bases if we get attacked. So I'm going to do this kind of everywhere. We're going to send like, actually going to send all of the fighters, I think. Actually, you know, we're going to send four here. And in the last one, four, we're going to send uh, five, let's say. Now we also have Midway, so we could also send some of our things here to go and search. So we're going to send, I don't know, five of these to search only in, in yeah, let's say, yeah, only like that. Fast search again. And it's going to take them 40 minutes before the mission can even begin, and then they'll go searching. Also, they will all continue to move in autopilot in this direction. So we're going to spend another, let's say, three hours to see if we can find some enemies. Because at the moment, we can't do anything better until we find the enemies. So you can see that we're kind of moving through, searching, and so on. So hopefully we'll find something useful. All right. So we still haven't found anybody, but that's okay. But you can see all of our carriers have moved towards midway, which is very, very good. Now, you can see now that some of these planes, they came back. They came back from the search, so they're kind of ready here again. Now, we also had a bit of a traffic jam because we've got these fighters that are kind of moving around. So they're a little bit in the way. Traffic jam units are somehow hindering each other. The number indicates the accumulated delay in multiple of 20 minutes. So we're going to send another set of these to search because we've got nothing better to do at the moment. Don't worry. As soon as we find some enemies, there will be other things we can do. But right now, it's just about just about searching and going. We're gonna only wait an hour this time. I'm hoping that we can find the enemies really, really soon. So let's see. Nothing yet. Okay. Okay, another hour then. All right, now. So now we found some enemies here. So what we could do is we could grab some of our uh, carriers, like for example, this one and send planes from there to attack the enemy. However, what you're gonna notice in a moment, if I'm gonna actually show you, it's a task force 17, and let's say we wanna send all of these guys to fight, all two of these, and we're gonna tell them, hey, go and shoot at this unit. The problem is they have no chance to return safely back to base, and that's because each plane has some sort of endurance, and the endurance is essentially how far they can fly and come back. And in order to survive this mission, we need an endurance of 32. However, our term, air units carrying torpedoes only have 12 endurance, so there's no way they can do it. So we actually need to be really, really close to them to be able to do that. Now, because we can see the enemies now, we're going to, our planes are going to keep checking on them and give us better and better information. So at the moment, we don't actually know who is there. We just know that this seems like a large set of ships and there's not much we know about it. So as we sort of keep going and keep learning about them, we'll actually know what kind of ships they've got and things like that. Now, this game has a night and day cycle. We're going to end the day cycle so we can keep uh, sending out our planes, but during the night cycle, we can. Another thing you want to do is you want to check the weather, which we haven't been doing yet. You want to look at, for example, actually, I can show it to you there. Sometimes it doesn't react to the clicks. I don't know why. Did it react here? Okay, let me. Yeah, finally. So you can right click on these things and it will show you the weather sometimes. And you can see that here it's overcast. And if there's like a rain or bad weather, you can hide a little bit better from the enemies. And also uh, if they attack you, they will have a higher ch harder chance, worse chance to hit you essentially. So we're going to keep searching here and we want to make sure that we've got the air fighters. Okay, we've got air fighters protecting every carrier here. That's good. And in Midway, we're also going to send some of our fighters to protect. 
at the moment we're going to talk about some of the settings here with the plane. So on the, mom on the bottom left you've got the endurance like I already said. Also on the top left you can see the air to air factor, so the ability to attack other planes. This here is the air to ground factor, ability to hit ground targets. And this is ruggedness or ability to sustain damage. And the endurance is essentially the number of hexes it can fly or number of phases it can stay aloft before running out of fuel. So that's why you got to make sure you've got a good enough fuel. So I'm going to grab some of these guys and send them like five of them just to kind of protect midway. And I think we're going to wait another, let's say, hour and we'll see how close the enemies get. I don't know if we're going to be able to actually fight the enemies off today. We might need to wait for tomorrow. Unless we can get... Yeah, this is still very, very far. But we can see that we learned some intelligence. So we've learned a little bit better about how the enemies look. So for example, here we can actually see a bit more like what type of carrier they have and things like that. So this is essentially something we've got intelligence gain. Now let me just check that we are have our searches sent everywhere. Except Midway, which... I mean, I guess we could send three of these there to keep searching. And we might st maybe want to set out the item pilot to go a little bit like this way. We could also start like manually controlling them to make sure that they're hidden under the weather, but we're not going to bother with that just yet. I think we're still too far for them to attack us or for us to, to attack them. So again, we'll just wait another... So what I'm clicking now is essentially passing 20 minutes. Now this, by the way, what is it telling you? It's telling you that ship can move. However, since you have it set on auto apply, it doesn't particularly matter because they will all move automatically. We're still not close enough to attack. If you try to send somebody for attack force 11, I don't think we're going to be fa fast enough to actually go and attack. Let me check it. You? No. We need 28th and endurance and we don't have enough. So we're just going to cancel that. We can click here to undo last move. And I think that's it. Let's wait another hour. So let me click on it to wait an hour. We all like to attack us if without waiting for the next day, but I really don't know if we can do that. Yeah, definitely still not close enough. Let's keep setting up some autopilots here. We want to keep them moving. We could also merge them into one big thing, but I don't think we're going to do it the autopilot to there also we don't necessarily want to go too close to the enemies because like we don't need to we just need to stay here and wait them for it to come to us it's just i really want to show you off the the combat and things like that so i think we're gonna actually wait like three hours here which means that we might not be able to see them as well but i want to do it because i really want to show you off stuff oh it won't let us because We've got new intelligence, so it's actually not letting us to kind of fast forward. It just wants to tell us all the in, in, important information. All right, we're going to need to send another set of these things. The problem is if you stop searching, you might say, why are you doing it if, if you already know? It is, it's because uh, then we'll, they'll kind of disappear and you don't want that to happen. So you want to make sure that you kind of keep searching like this. Okay, so we've sent out a new set of planes. Who's gonna go there and search for things? Right now it should be. Alright, they're coming fairly close. Maybe now. Yeah, if we go from a task force 17, so we might be able to shoot at them now. Task force 17. If I grab all of you, can you go now? We'll go at the one two CV. So we have 61% chance to return safely to base, but it would be a night landing, so we could have a pretty high chance of crashing there, so we're not going to do it anymore. And instead we're going to wait for a little while. Now they will move towards us overnight, so we might, we might want to change the autopilot to go back towards midway, because since we can't make it before the night, we just want to make sure that we're not too close to them. So I think we're going to wait like 6 hours. And we're going to do this thing in the morning. So you can see that at the night we're moving much faster. And now we want to set up, and you can also see that all the enemies disappeared. So we're going to grab these guys, and we can't really do a, an operation yet. Yeah, we're going to have to wait another three hours, let's say. Can I send my people out yet? 
Let me check. We'll grab from the TF11 maybe. And we'll send just like a, I don't know, three of these. Just like a quick search. Yeah, it's gonna take into 8, 80 minutes and maybe another three here. We also definitely want to make sure that we're getting our people back into this uh, patrol. Because you need to have fighters that can protect you if they choose to attack us and they will choose to attack us. So you want to make sure you're definitely ready for that. You could also send some th things to search from midway, maybe three of these. Again, we're just doing this to, to make sure we can see them. They should be fairly close, so then our focus is going to be on a strike attack, so... Alright, we don't see anything just yet. Ooh, this is fairly close. I might set up the autopilot to go a bit backwards. Oh no, we're good. There, that's good. So let's just wait a little bit. Till we can see at least one of theirs. Okay, we're sending out our planes now. So we should see them very close. Come on. Where did you go to? Okay, good, 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 good. So now it's time to set our strikes. We're gonna start off at 16.2, this thing. I'm gonna send our tar task force. So, oh, we gotta wait for them to come back though. Okay, never mind. We're gonna send six of these. And we're actually go we're gonna send everything, ma mainly because I just wanna show it off. And we're gonna send it at. Let's go at these guys. And 100% chance to safely return to base. We could either send them all in one wave or in multiple waves. We're gonna do it in one big wave. And we could also set them up to return back to different waves, but we're not gonna do it. I'm gonna tell them okay. And we can pick what kind of attack we wanna have. So we can either have a compact attack. Attacking air units are concentrated on some target chips, inflicting a maximum damage to them or evenly distributed against most of them. We're just gonna do a compact attack I like that. We're also going to send some ships from midway. So first of all, we need to have some, let's say four to kind of protect things. Then we're gonna send a fighter and a couple of these. What is a good air to ground attack? Maybe these guys actually. And maybe a couple of these uh, dive bombers. Like all two of those. Maybe one of these two. And we'll send them over at this thing. 90% chance to come back safe. If I send you here, 98%, so that's better. So let's send it here. Off they go. And task force 17, we'll send something as well. We'll send all five of these and two of these. We'll just send everything. Again, just to show this off. And we'll go with this medium thing, 100% landing. Maybe this time we'll actually let them... Actually, it's only going to be one wave. So that doesn't matter. And finally, Task Force 11. You've got good stuff, don't you? Oh, we got to wait for you to come back. So Task Force 11 will wait a little bit. Task Force 16.1. Do you have any good stuff? Oh, you do. You absolutely do. We'll send that fighter there as well. We've got some protection at home. So we'll send everything. We'll send you off to this thing because that's the closest. Oh, but only have 51% chance to, to come home. What about here? 56. Oh, you need 16% endurance. What doesn't have that? Oh. So sometimes it's a problem that you can't turn this off. I found this before as well, like you click the undo move, but it's kind of going to stack here. So we're going to send them to a new attack, new target once we come closer. So I'm going to give you an autopilot to come closer so that you could do a better attack there. So now we're only going to wait 20 minutes. And we're going to start moving soon. And soon we're actually going to see the airplanes flying towards the enemies in a moment. We've got an uh, enemy scout found over TF-11, okay, that's fine, and over TG-16.2 as well, and something, okay, can I send my guys at 16.1 now, somewhere, are you close enough now, 92%, okay, go, we'll send you in multiple waves this time around, again, just so I can show off the stuff, so let's keep going, all right, now you can see my planes are starting to move towards the strike, and soon we're gonna get our very first battle, and we're gonna keep moving. Go, go. Not quite there yet. And this is telling you the strike has not reached its target yet, but that's okay. You're patient. We're gonna have our first fight now. Okay. Air to sea battle. So we've got our planes, we've got our five dive bombers and two of these. And this is their like uh, protection. They've got these fighters here. 
So we start off with air to air, and the way this works is that uh, the defending and attacking units are split into stacks. So we've got these stacks here. We look at the best air to air values of our planes, and we compare it to their best to air to air values. So they've got three, and we've got two. So we subtract it, so they get plus one, and we got minus one. And then there's like a table that you cannot see but it is written in the rules and the table determines your chance of hitting an enemy airplane. So there's usually, it's usually like around 20%, sometimes a bit higher if you got like the higher number for like a plus three or something like that. And because we have a monster disadvantage and we will shoot at them and the 20% is the chance to hit the enemy plane. There's also a chance, 50% chance to lose all of your ammunition after the fight. So first up, we're going to resolve the combat air patrol. And if they had anti-air guns, then that as well. So we're going to hit this and we're going to see the result in a moment. Okay. So they damaged one of mine. I destroyed one of theirs. So we've got four of these dive bombers left and two of these. And we're going to use them to attack these ships. Now, because we've got the compact focus, we're going to be focusing on one specific either ship or carrier to destroy it. So we're going to see what happens now. Okay, we're focusing on that. And we did some damage. Great. That's actually really, really good for us. Will you tell us what kind of damage we did? Oh, we actually sunk them down. Oh, that's very good. Okay, we, they got hit by two torpedoes and three bombs, and we sunk them, which is fantastic. Now, if, depending on what kind of damage you do, there are like different results. Maybe their aircraft cannot land temporarily until they fix it, or you completely sunk their ship so their aircraft gets lost, or you know things like that. So we're gonna uh, click OK, and we have finished. We have sort of resolved that particular combat, so we learn a little bit more here. So we uh, some of our enemy. Fighters and enemy bombers got destroyed, some of ours as well. And um, yeah, we learned some stuff and so on. All right, what do we've got here? Intelligence. Yeah, Japanese airstrike has been detected, so they're gonna hit us very, very soon. Yeah, this is theirs. They're gonna try to hit one of our task forces here. And the rest is just intelligence. So let me just check that we've got some like fighters defending each one of our carriers we do that is good including here in midway that's really important let's send some more there and we could send some more to attack you've got air to air factor is pretty high you might want to help keep this like the runway maybe yeah You know what, we're just gonna, I think we're okay on what attacks we have. Let's just do one more turn, we see if we could do maybe another attack. Or they'll, okay, so this time they've got no defending airplanes, so we're just gonna straight attack them, which is really, really good. So we just go straight into it. Unless... Oh, I guess they did... No, 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 they've got nothing, so nothing happened. I don't know why they did the attack since they've got nothing. I don't think they have, have an anti-air... Units? I don't think they do. So just well, either way, it didn't do any damage to us. Wait, what we've got here? We hit this. That's really good. Did what did we do to it? Hit by two torpedoes. Yeah. Okay. We, we damaged it a little bit, but we didn't quite destroy it. All right. So this is how the battles work. Now, if you want to know more details about the game, you can read the rules as you can see on the screen right now. This is just kind of like a quick show of the gameplay, things like that. Alright, you can click on the right to watch some other board games and I'll see you there. Bye bye!